How your ego keeps you with a narcissist. Hey guys, have you noticed that since the beginning of your relationship with the narcissist, you find yourself focusing more on the fantasy they created and less on how they treat you now? It's like you ignore all the abuse they're putting you through, and all you think about is that fantasy you lived in for what was probably just a pretty short time. Well, don't beat yourself up over it. It's a common thing that we all do. So in this video, I'm going to explain why this happens and what you can do to help improve your life and get back on a positive path. So stick around for the next few minutes and let's break this down together. So in every narcissistic relationship, a stage has to be set. There has to be something about this person that draws you in and makes you feel like you've never felt before. And if you take a minute and look back to the beginning of your relationship, I'm sure you'll agree. You felt like you were living in a fantasy and you loved every minute of it. You loved it so much that you're willing to put up with all the abuse they put you through just to get another taste of how things were back in the beginning. Well guys, that's exactly what the narcissist intended. They created a fantasy life that you would believe, embrace, and focus on. They created something they hoped you would chase after forever. Because without that fantasy life, they knew they'd never have a chance to be with you and get the chance to abuse you. Why do we do that? Why do we ignore all the abuse they put us through and spend all our time focusing on that fantasy? The answer is hard to accept. But it's the truth, and the truth is, our ego is why we do it. Our ego takes over, and we refuse to accept the truth that the fantasy is just that. It's a fantasy. It's all been fake since the start. When you let your ego get out of hand, it clouds your mind. It corrupts your judgment. It'll make you think you can fix the relationship. Instead of just conceding to the fact that you're in a losing battle here, you keep fighting and fighting, trying to figure out how you can change the narcissist and pull them back into that fantasy. Well, guess what, guys? It's time to check that ego, set it aside, stop focusing on that fantasy, and start focusing on the person that created the fantasy. It's time to understand what they did to you and why they did it. Oh, and by the way, they left that fantasy behind long before you even realized it. And don't get me wrong here, I'm not blaming you for falling in love with this person because it's not your fault. I mean, how are you supposed to know what their real intentions were? You had no way of knowing what they were capable of until it was too late. So here you are now. Your logic is telling you it's time to make an exit from this relationship but you're still holding on to that ego, spending all your time focusing on that fantasy, ignoring all the abuse, and thinking you'll get back that person you fell in love with. You keep thinking there's a chance, so you keep on with the chase. And guess what? The narcissist loves it, because it gives them that sense of power and control they need. When they see you trying so hard to keep that fantasy alive, it feeds their ego. And trust me, when they see how hard you're trying, they know they're in the driver's seat. They've got you right where they want you. And the harder you try to change things and make them better, the more it feeds their ego. They'll abuse you, and then they'll love bomb you. They do this so you keep your focus on that fantasy. And if you're being honest with yourself, you'll admit this fact. It doesn't take much love bombing to keep your focus on that fantasy, does it? Trust me, guys, I was in the exact same position. I focused all my energy on the fantasy instead of focusing on my abuser. And in the long run, all I ended up with was more misery. It took me a long time, but once I checked my ego at the door, admitted that the fantasy was just that, a complete fantasy... Reality smacked me in the face. I started to focus on my abuser. I figured out what they were doing to me, 
and I made a choice to remove myself from their sick game. I finally decided it was time to let the fantasy go. I found people that could relate with what I was going through, and I vented to them. I sought counseling. I reevaluated myself and found out that I deserved more out of life than being emotionally manipulated by a person that didn't give a shit about what I thought or felt. A person that only wanted me around to put up with all their bullshit. So what about you? Are you living through the same scenario right now? Are you ignoring all the abuse and focusing all your energy and time on the fantasy? If the answer is yes, I'm asking you to do yourself a huge favor today. Put your ego to the side and chalk up this relationship as a loss because chasing the fantasy is only going to keep you stuck in a never-ending, no-win situation. Reverse the situation for yourself. Instead of your next relationship starting out as a fantasy that turns into a horrific reality, take things slow. Take some time and really get to know the new person you meet. Find someone who's genuine, someone that accepts you for who you are, someone who will love you unconditionally. Remember that old story about the tortoise and the hare? Who won that race? The one that took things slow and steady. Long-lasting healthy relationships take time to develop. There's no need to get into a big rush with things, guys. Just take your time. Trust me, that person is out there, and when you find them, your fantasy will finally come true. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, keep looking out for those signs. Stay alert, be vigilant, be strong, be brave, and go live your best life today.